check. I'm going to do something very exciting today. I'm going to run through the getting started tutorial, lesson one to six, speed run style. <laughs> so um, getting started tutorial is a tutorial series that um, to introduce you to use Terminus DB with Python client. In this tutorial, I'll just assume that you have basic knowledge about Python. Um, also, as of the recording of the video today, uh, we have six lessons, so I'm trying to cover all of them uh, very quickly. So let's get started. Um, so for lesson one, um, we are going to go from installing uh, until creating an empty database with just the schema. So I'm not going to show you how to install it because everybody's OS is different. All the instructions can be found in the tutorial. Um, you can either do it locally, uh, having the Docker image um, of Terminus DB uh, run locally. Um, so what you need will be Docker. <laughs> um, or um, you can use Terminus X. So um, for the Terminus DB uh, Python client that it works with uh, Python uh, 3.6 or above. So um, uh, also it's highly recommended that you create a new uh, Python environment to do that. Um, so yeah, that's uh, basically what you need to get started. So uh, now uh, in a new directory here, so sorry about this mess. So new directory, as you can see, I'll just clean it up. Um, we just do a terminus oh, db uh, start project. So um, the project name getting started um, demo. Okay. Oh. Ah, spelling mistakes there everywhere. It's a good start. <laughs> okay, getting started demo. I'm running locally. I'm running a um, Docker container right now. So I'm just going to press enter. Uh, with Terminus X, you just need to find all the information about the endpoint, uh, your team, and your token uh, from the dashboard. Um, it's uh, under your profile, so you can do that. Um, so now we have uh, something created for us. So you see that we have a few files. Uh, the other two is just uh, configurations. Uh, we are not going to touch it uh, in this tutorial. For the schema.py, so on the other hand, schema.py, this is an example uh, that's generated for you when you start the project. Feel free to have a look uh, to see how it works. It kind of more or less demonstrated uh, how to use it uh, properly. But today we just got to go with the tutorial. So. Um, first of all, we need to have a use case. Uh, so in here, we have an awesome startup that with four employees to start with. Um, so they have stored their information in two CSVs. There's employees.csv and context.csv. Um, so you can see that uh, the employees.csv is uh, how a person sits within a company. Uh, who are the managers, if there's any. So they're using the employee's ID here as a key to link them. Um, there's also the uh, contact. Uh, so there's also the employee ID and also their contact details. So uh, we have to build a schema to store this information. So we have already done it. Um, so in the schema.py, you can have uh, doc strings to be your metadata for your schema. So this is just some information you can add. And then also for each class object, which will be um, a uh, document template, I would say, uh, for, for it, then you can um, also have doc string to explain what it is. So this is a numpy style um, doc string. So for further information, you can look it up. Uh, it's a numpy doc uh, kind of style. So um, we also have a, num a, a enum. So we can use enum as well. So I won't go into detail. Like I said, time limitation. We are speed running. So I'll just copy and paste this. Nope. Please. OK. Yes. Yeah, so now I've replaced the schema.py. And what I need to do now is to do a commit. So Thomas DB commit, and then usually I'll have a commit message, which I am going to copy from the tutorial. So because I'll never forget what it is. Yeah, update phone box schema, of course. Just gonna do it, and you see that we have created our new database, and also the schema is updated. So. Um, to check, you can do a few things. So there's, you can always look at the log because we have the commit message, right? So it's just like it. So if committed, you can see that is uh, happening in the log here. Um, the other way to do it is to verify, uh, you know, you can make some, uh, you know, use all docs to see what's inside your database. So if you just use all docs, there's nothing in there because this is just a schema. So 
if you do a schema uh, option here, you see this is the schema we just imported. But it's not very interesting for now. It's just what we have done. Um, so it's easier to see it here, right? So, um, so that's the first lesson. Easy peasy, right? So let's go for lesson two. Thank you.